Deputy Finance Minister David Umingagwa opened an investigation on tenderpreneur Wignell Chevail shortly before bullets were found in his home, Zimai is told. Impeccable sources speaking with Zimai reveal that David Kuda Umingagwa is not at all First Lady Auxilia's son. He is the child of one of Mugabe minister, Ignatius Chombo's late sisters. David is inside the Umingagwa clan viewed as the most stable in character, having trained in the U.S. It is a play within a play because while there are factions inside, there are factions outside, records show. While Auxilia's male twins wield significant state influence, Kuda is the most placed to take over power as the kingpin of all cartels. And his boss Mthilin Kyub is more a servant to him as he the latter has always been a manager of President Emerson Umingagwa's businesses. Mthilin Kyub is Umingagwa's personal employee in the sense of practice. These are the complexities surrounding the fire that attacked David Umingagwa two days ago, plus the three bullets found near bus bedroom door. David is the centerpiece of the movement of money. A source further tells Zemai. Soon after the Shiveo audio leaks had surfaced, David was internally tasked to investigate him, even though the role is not publicly announced. A source told Zemai. Efforts to get a comment from the deputy minister were fruitless at the time of writing. Shiveo was still respond to requests for comment at the time of writing. His welfare is now a major national security concern. In a series of alarming events, the son of the head of state has found himself at the center of a security investigation after a fire gutted his home and bullets were discovered on the property days before. The fire, which broke out two days ago, caused extensive damage to the Umingagua residence. Preliminary reports suggest that the fire may have been deliberately set, although investigations are ongoing. In a disturbing turn, unspent bullets were found scattered inside the Barrowdale home and on the lawn. This discovery has heightened concerns about the nature of the incident, prompting an immediate and thorough investigation by state security agencies. Police have not yet determined the source or intent behind the bullets, but the incident has raised significant security questions. While no injuries were reported, and David Umingagwa is said to be cooperating fully with the investigation, there are three scenarios. 1. David is the nucleus inside many convolutions inside the scramble for state resources and the management of public funds. 2. He is also beholden to two women who are sisters, who may be fighting. 3. Eyewitnesses say they saw the fire coming from within. 4. Internally in government he is not a favorite with the likes of George Guvamatanga because he is delaying or blocking many private deals. He is the internal stop of many explosions. If it wasn't for him, there would be many scandals. The development suggests there are now many loopholes that can be manipulated. 5. There are factional fights inside ZANU-PF. 6. Some sources make sensational suggestions that there is a spiritual dimension. This group says the fire was the cause of supernatural forces.